Hello and welcome, I'm your host John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you this coin right here, which is from the Pressburg Mint. Yep, you heard me right, I said Pressburg Mint. It seems like it's been forever since I've actually shown you anything from what actually was one of my favorite mints. But uh, anyway, yep, Martin the Silver Trader sent me in this coin here and has sent me in another coin several months ago, about two months ago, the same design. I'll actually tell you all about it. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically I will cast my eyes on it, give you my honest thoughts and opinions, and of course share with you the other coins in the uh, series. So here we go. All right, so here we are. It is the Pressburg Equilibrium. Now this is one of my favorite series. It's been ongoing since 2018. That's when it first started. And yes, I do have the entire series just off camera that I'll be uh, showing with you very soon. And yes, I even had this coin wait in about two months ago to be reviewed. But the problem was, well, they weren't really up to par at that point. I the batch that was received, just not up to standards that Martin was even prepared to sell them. Um, <laughs> so B standards or whatever, no. This, however, doesn't look that bad in comparison. It has its kind of unique characters or flaws, but I think more of that is to do with the design itself um, and some with the finishing, but we'll have a good look. So, this is the brand new coin. This is the coin that was sent to me back then. What basically was wrong with this, well, was what wasn't. There was scratches, there was imperfections, and everything else. We take a look here, and I'm not sure if I can get this on camera perfectly, but there are scratches all on his face. I'm doing this here. His ear is smushed because it's a high-rised area, and you could tell that you know very you know, carefully. And there's just general scratches on the coin, things that you guys wouldn't expect on a proof like um, you know coin, nor would you expect it with you know that little bit of a premium. So yeah, Martin basically wasn't happy, um, and he sent it back. But I just decided that I wanted to really keep one so that I had it as a reference. So if I can turn this here, this is gonna be one of the big showing points. I turn this here and you can see the designs along the sides here, around um, King Charles's uh, face, which by the way, Dion Thorne is the designer of. Uh, now, if I take that same design with a new one, same exact uh, area, you could already see a difference. I'm not tilting the coin or doing anything silly. This is what I'm talking about with the finishing side of things, is that we have a light issue here, and it's all on this side where it's now dark. This is the new coin, but it doesn't have the scratches that were um, on the original. And I think, I mean, it, it looks like when you hit the light on it, it looks like it's more a design fault or you know than anything else. Um, but because the designs on both of them, I think it's a finishing side. So we have a darkness here. We don't have it on here. Now let's just move it over just to prove my point. Same thing. You can still see this darkness. So if I cover it up, you can see where the dark bits are. Okay. So I'll put my coin back, even though mine's a scratchy one and move on. Anyway, so. 2024 Tokalua, $5 denomination. It has a reeded edge. Well, both of them do, obviously. Duh, I don't need to show you the other one. Yin Yang, as I said, proof like a bit. Here's the really cool thing. It has equilibrium and one ounce fine silver, four nines find. And this here is a depiction, and I'll zoom in much closer, 
of an angel and devil dueling. Now this is number seven in the series. So the seventh coin has come out. And throughout all the years, they've come with various designs that kind of hit almost the, the mood of the nation at the time in, in a lot of ways. That's why I've always been kind of attracted to it. And I don't think they've designed it to be like that, but it's really kind of cool. So let's have a look at this a bit closer, shall we? So there we have a angel holding on to a small child. Now it's, it's interesting because they have their own interpretation of it. Um, and at first I thought that was the devil really, but no, it's definitely, I'm pretty sure it's the angel. And then we have the devil apparently, I guess on this side, because well, you can see the, you know, uh, the claws and stuff um, coming off his cape and just essentially covered by jewels and money and, you know, basically greed, really. Or, of course, well, a well-prepared stalker, right? <laughs> Sorry, I had to th throw that in. One of the unusual bits, though, with that is besides, obviously, matte, shiny, mirror finish and everything else, is that they're two separate designs entirely. The designs do not meet up and the designs don't intertwine with each other. That's a, a bit of a first for the Pressburg Mint because on all of their other previous designs with the Yin Yang, all the designs actually meet up together and kind of, you know, tell a, a bit of a story. So, you know, what one is doing, the other is mirroring. The fact that they've gone with the devil dueling uh, series, or I say series, uh, you know, design, is, well, rather unique and different. So I'm not sure what you guys think. Um, obviously, if this was a one-off, I probably wouldn't be buying it personally. Uh, but as, of course, it's a series, well, I've already bought it because I bought the scratched up version a bit. And uh, I thought, well, it's best to have it within, you know, my full collection. Now, if you haven't seen the series and you are curious, well, do not try to go back and backdate it. Um, if you do, I, I'm going to tip my hat and say good luck. But let me share it with you. Starting with... 2018, which of course was this one. Again, it had a $5 denomination. And as you can see, everything mirrored everything perfectly. So we have nice gloss on the ball and in, in the tree. Uh, sorry, mat, uh, the tree's glossy, the ball's matted a bit, and matted tree, glossy ball. Um, so perfect design there. 2019. We go. We have the butterfly again with the yin yang symbols in the middle, uh, and of course this led way to another one of the series that was really cool. Um, and uh, I have many many series uh, from the Prosper. In fact, I've been collecting most of them. Um, just to let you know, I mean, I I used to love the Prosper Mint. And I think they kind of shot themselves a little bit in the foot by closing off stuff to public. But that was under different ownership and so on and so forth. Now we have the 2022. Now this kind of looks a bit like a Taekwondo or an Olympics-like uh, event here. Um, we have again, one of those fine silver. This is three, now it's fine. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, everything is mirroring each other. This was their yin yang design. And there it is there. This is the one with the hands. Uh, you know, easily, <laughs> you couldn't mistake in it, whatever. And then, of course, we move on. And this is a really trippy one because the yin yang is built in. This is one of my favorites. It's the worst one in the world to try to photograph and to take a picture of or to even have on camera, but you guys can see it. 
how it moves and it flows with the design. Uh, this is, of course, the 2021 version, and it is stunning. 2022 on the queen side had all of that, but then look at this. It had what was essentially a cracking coin. <laughs> no pun intended. It looks like it was out of this world. In fact, that's kind of what it was. It was a worldly coin and showing, of course, the stars and everything else. So this really caught my attention and uh, I really loved it a lot. See why I collected it. Um, and then back onto here, onto last year's design, 2023. Looked a bit bland until you flipped it over and then it got incredibly intense. A little bit too intense for my liking, but if you hold the coin a bit sideways, which is, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that, it's a little bit easier. You can clearly see the outline here of the yin yang. I say clearly, I'm, I'm making it as much as possible that you can see it. And then it just bounced through. So it was a very, very busy coin, but then it showed off everything all in one. So, hey, <laughs> I wasn't going to mock it. Uh, and then, of course, we come to the final one, which is this one here, which is what we're on. As I said, a little bit out of place, but yet we still have the yin yang and, well, devil versus um, angel. You guys decide. I look forward to your comments down below. Please leave them and uh, I will see you on Wednesday with another cracking video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I really hope you guys have a great day. Bye for now.